Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be how to become a licensed pharmacy technician in the US. You can also work as a pharmacy technician trainee without having to take any exams. And I have an entirely different video made of made on that one which will be linked somewhere over here and down in the description below but this is for somebody who is planning on to uh, work in a pharmacy for a period of greater than two years time because the pharmacy technician trainee the one that you can easily become without having to take any exam is only valid for like two years time so the license for technician trainee is valid for two years time and after two years if you think that this is something that you want to get into you'll have to take an exam with PT CB and it's really not that hard. I'm going to explain all the requirements of the exam and how to actually study for it in this video. So let's dive deep into it. So number one is the eligibility requirement. There are two criterias which define the eligibility of you actually becoming a pharmacy technician over here in the US. First of all, I want to make sure that this is not something that needs a pharmacy degree or a PharmD degree or B Pharm degree or M Pharm degree in order to be eligible to become a licensed pharmacy technician trainee. This is something that you can do uh, straight out of high school or even if you haven't um, done any of the university education. So uh, a career, this is a career path that I see most of the people pursuing if they have like a B farm or an M farm and they don't want to go down the road of studying like more course courses and becoming a farm team. So there are basically two requirements that goes into the eligibility criteria. There is 500 credit hours of work experience required or there is an experience required of some kind of course training or PTCB training program. Now for the 500 credit hours of experience, I'm, I'm going to talk about it first because um, this is the one that you probably already have. So this is any experience that you have done working in a pharmacy or healthcare field and you can show it to the boards over here even if it's not in the US it doesn't really matter and they usually end accepting it so I have friends who had um, experiences back from their home country like Pakistan and India and they showed their ex and they showed their experience to the boards over here and they were able to accept it and 500 credit hours is really not that much but but if you're somebody who doesn't have that experience or who wants to offer the other part that's entirely different topic for an entirely different video but you can easily google it you can google PDCB training programs and they should be able to guide you best it's an exam of one hour and 50 minutes there there's a total of around 90 questions out of which 80 are scored and 10 are unscored you are obviously not going to know which 10 questions are not scored and which 80 are scored so that's basically the trick i don't know how they do the marking but the marking is done out of 1600 marks and you have to obtain around 1400 or plus in order to be able to pass this exam I'm to include the entire syllabus in the description box down below so um you can check it out from there as well but for the purposes of this video this entire syllabus for this exam so the first part is the medication section that has like 40 percent of this exam and it has generic names brand names and classifications of medication therapeutic equivalents common and life-threatening drug interactions and contraindications strengths dose dosage forms routes of administration special handling instructions etc common and severe medication side effects, adverse effects and allergies, indications of medications and dietary supplements, drug stability, neurotherapeutic index medications, physical and chemical incompatibilities, proper storage of medications. The next section would be patient safety and quality assurance that comprises about 26.5% of the entire exam and that includes high alert medications and local like sound alike medications, error prevention strategies, um, issues that require pharmacist intervention, event reporting procedures, types of prescription errors, hygiene and cleaning standards. And the last part would be order entry and management that comprises about 21.25% of the entire exam and that, inclu that includes Procedures to compound non-sterile products, uh, formulas, calculations, ratios, proportions, allegations, conversions, sick codes, etc. Equipment of supplies required for drug administration, lot numbers, expiration dates, and national drug code NDC numbers, and procedures for identifying and returning dispensable, non-dispensable, and expired medication and supplies. So these were the four sections that comprises the entire exam for a pharmacy technician. So for you to become a certified pharmacy technician over here in the US and earn that much amount of money, you would have to take this exam, which is 
pretty easy in my view if you like follow the proper guideline if you if you stick to the syllabus and stick to the book that's being recommended again the entire syllabus is going to be included down in the description below so don't forget to check it out from there and if this video provided you any value please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram that's met nerdygram if you're a pharmacist or a foreign graduate pharmacist who is trying to get into us and become a licensed pharmacist in us don't forget to join my fpge master class that's link to that would also be in the description box down below also i'm doing a free webinar on fpge so all the stuff that you actually need to know for this exam and everything that you need to know in order to prepare best for this exam is going to be provided in that webinar for free so that there's going to be a lot of value and we have limited number of seats that's filling very fast so you can sign up to that as well in the description box down below and i'll see you on the other side thank you very much Bye bye